What is a closure in PHP? Maybe it is a fence, maybe a garden, you know, enclosure, <laughs> or a box, could be a box. Uh, I guess we don't know. So let's ask Google. So apparently it's really just an anonymous function. And what it is? Well, let's check it out. So usually we would create a function and we would give that function a name and then we'll call that function. That is the usual way we would generate a function, create a function, whatever you want to call it. Oh, what we can do instead is we can create a variable and we can assign that variable to a function and then we can call that variable. So in this example, we created hello as a variable and we are going to call hello and it's going to be a function and it's going to work the same way as the function we have. What is the difference between these two uh, functions? Because I don't see the difference. So let's see what exactly is the difference. So one of the major differences is that we can now pass functions as arguments to other anonymous functions. As confusing as it sounds, let's see what that looks like. So in this example, we're going to create a function. We're going to call that function world. And as an argument to the world function, we can also take in a variable which in truth will be an anonymous function and we can call that anonymous function within our world anonymous function so you know that's pretty cool and you definitely can do that before with normal functions